Hi everyone, it's Cindy and welcome back to the channel. We are back in San Sequoia once again in my Anchor Point Wharf apartment complex. This is a custom playable complex that I've created and I am super, super excited today because today people is the day. I am decorating the sixth and final unit in this apartment complex and I am especially excited because for the final unit since June is coming up and June is Pride Month this apartment is for a pride couple they are a lesbian couple and I imagine that they are very successful business professionals so I wanted to make something really special and colorful and bold and that just speaks to their personality for this build. So I really, really hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you feel that I've done a good job with this one because I had so much fun. Now, if you've watched the previous videos in this series, you will know that I already have the shell of this custom apartment complex available on the gallery and you can find that with my EAID or how Hashtag, which is Higa Haven, that's H-Y-G-G-E-H-A-V-E-N. And now that this final unit is done, I am going to be uploading this lot to the gallery. So you can go and find that if you want just the empty shell or if you want to have the full all six apartments uh, decorated you can choose and I will put a link here in the cards if you want to go back and watch the previous videos in this series which I highly recommend that you do after you watch this one. So you can see that I am decorating the kitchen here. It's a very small kitchen, uh, but you know, the apartment is I think really cozy. And the challenge that I set for myself with this build was, as I said, this is for a lesbian couple for Pride Month, but I wanted to decorate this apartment without using the Pride flag because I kind of see you know, that's kind of more of a decoration style that I think is much more common with teenagers or university students. And I think these Sims uh, in this relationship, they're probably more like midlife, kind of in their 30s or 40s. And like I said, you know, they're uh, kind of sophisticated business professionals. So, you know, throwing a whole bunch of pride flags around just didn't really make sense. And also like, I, I don't think that is very realistic as well. Like, you know, my my gay friends don't have gay pride flags all over their apartments, just like, you know, if there was a straight flag, I probably wouldn't have that in my apartment. Um, but I wanted to add nods to, you know, their identities in this build without using the flag. So um, I've sprinkled a few things around in the apartment and I hope that uh, you will appreciate them and agree that it, um, you know, does the trick. But as you will have seen, I am using this uh, get together sofa and it was the inspiration for the color palette in this apartment. I was thinking of going with the yellow, but ultimately, as you can see, I went with the red and then I looked at the pillows, which have like this mint turquoise kind of color with a little bit of pink. And I used that to determine the rest of the kitchen and living room color scheme. And I was very conscious of trying not to make this feel very Christmassy. I like red and turquoise, or this is really more kind of a mint color. Together, I think they go really well together, but you have to be very careful that it doesn't start looking too Christmassy. But I think I've achieved that, so I'm quite happy with that overall. And I love this rug. I rarely ever use it, but I really felt that it tied all the colors together. And then here is our first piece of pride um, symbolism is this amazing painting that was added into the game. It's by Jupiter Stevens Hill and uh, it has like a little pride flag in it, but you know, it has a whole bunch of people from all different walks of life and everything. And it's very representative. And I thought that was a really beautiful addition to this room and this build. And you can see I've used a lot of like decor to the max or I'll use even more in the bedroom you'll see, but I love that decor to the max light fixture. And I've really tried to go bold here. 
in addition to not like throwing a whole bunch of pride flags around, I also really wanted to avoid pastel colors because I know I lean into those quite a lot. And for this build, I didn't want to go dark color. I didn't want to go pastel. I decided let's just go like really bold, powerful colors. So you've got the reds and uh, you know, those brighter, brighter colors. So, and I think it worked out really, really well. Um, I also love that I put this wardrobe from growing together here. I was going to use it kind of like a closet by the entranceway, um, but I think it works really well in the kitchen. And then here you'll see, I've just added in a marriage certificate. And this is one of my other nods to um, this lesbian couple. I think, you know, they are very proud of the fact that their union has been recognized. Maybe it's something that they've fought for for many years. So they want to display their marriage certificate with pride. Um, and I also had put in like a female bust because I think, you know, they appreciate that silhouette and that form. And uh, yeah, I just liked the look of it. But here we are in the bedroom already. And you can see that I've used this amazing four poster bed from City Living. I very rarely use the four poster beds and I wanted something that had more pattern to the bedspread but I saw this green and orange and I was like okay well let's try this and then I found the decor to the max wallpaper that matches the colors on the bedspread and the pillows perfectly and I was so excited I, I cannot tell you how much I love this room and at first I thought well I'll just do an accent wall and then I went no, I said I was going bold. We are going all out bold. And I think it works really, really well. And of course, they are, as I said, business professionals. So I imagine they would have a nice built in wardrobe area, which you can see here I've made with the Dream Home Decorator modular furniture. And I changed the wood tone to be a lot darker. And I think that works really well because it matches the bed. And I was contemplating putting that trophy in, um, but in the end, I thought the vase looked a lot better. Uh, but I, I just, I love how this bedroom turned out. I love the dark greens and the melon orange. And you'll see in a moment, I'm going to grab the industrial loft kit rug in the orange color. And I think it just ties that orange with the wallpaper and the pillows in so nicely. And when I put the mirror in, I was thinking of using this growing together mirror because I haven't used it at all. But in the end, I opted for this base game one instead. I just felt like it was a little bit better in this space. I also use this paranormal uh, dresser. I just love the color. It matches the bright pop of turquoise of the birds in the wallpaper. And again, I wanted, you know, bold colors and patterns. And this one just, you know, fit the bill perfectly. And I'm pulling out a whole bunch of clutter to put on this dresser and I position it all. And then I, I edit and I take some stuff away because honestly it was too cluttered even for me. Um, but we get there in the end. So I just, I'm so happy with how this turned out and I hope you enjoy it as well. I also warmed up the floor tone. I went with this eco lifestyle hexagonal, uh, wood floor, but I had it in a much lighter tone, but this warmer color just, it just warmed the entire apartment up. So I'm really glad that I changed that. And we're just putting a little poof in here. So, you know, if you need to sit down while you're getting dressed, you can do that. And for the curtains, I knew exactly that I wanted to use these sheer ones from the Desert Lux because they perfectly match the bed curtains on the four poster bed. And I loved that. And then I'm also getting in another custom painting that was added to the game. This one was by Mohammed Iman Fayez. Um, and then we're moving into the bathroom already. And I, the bathroom is kept very simple, but what I love about the bathroom is this room that the bathroom is in is actually wasted space from the stairwell and the way that I had to set the stairs to come up to this level, but I was able to use it as a bathroom. So it is no longer wasted space. And don't mind me patting myself on the back here, but I thought that was very clever of me. But the decorations are very simple. It's my normal floor plan. And then 
I also add in, after the towels here, one of the vintage glamour paintings, um, not the Marilyn Monroe or the Audrey Hepburn one, it's the third one, that I cannot for the life of me remember which real life uh, woman that is based on. So if you know, let me know in the comments because it is driving me nuts and I have tried to Google it and I cannot find a list of their names. So let me know if you know. But that is everything for today's build. A like is always appreciated if you enjoyed this video. And why not subscribe and be notified so you know when future videos go up. But I will be posting the completed apartment to the gallery if you want to download it. Thank you so much for joining me with this series. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I will be leaving you with the screenshots. Have a lovely day.